I wish to add an experience, rather share the experience in addition to the soil day which, which happened just a few days back, uh, world soil day, it was a world soil day. So I am not a farmer uh, in my background, my, my ancestors of course were farmers. Uh, but. I do not have any farming experience, but I, I love plantation or uh, being very close to the plants and nature. So a very late incident which I would like to share with you is about I have planted a Tulsi plant uh, around maybe I think around one or two years back and uh, it was a very beautiful Tulsi uh, and uh, the leaves were very green. It was a Ram Tulsi, and uh, I used to always keep on trimming it. It was growing very proper. It was a bushy, and it, it used to look very beautiful. So I've seen that uh, plant growing from this, uh, like small sprout, to uh, really a big bunch. And uh, with with times passing by, I always felt a connection with it. Uh, like just to share, I just touch the plant leaves and uh, just feel them and try to be, try to feel the nature. So I put some manure in my garden plants and um, so that they are healthy. But this time something stupid thing which ended in my, in my mind is that I added urea to my pots. So when I added the urea in my pots of the plants and uh, in three to four days, mostly almost all the plants, uh, they survived and uh, they did not dry up but there were two spider plants which got dried up and I had three Tulsi plants, all three of them dried like uh, dried absolutely like there's no nothing left in it and uh, even today that tulsi plant has little moisture in the stem and i still hope that maybe one leaf would sprout from this plant and i would see it growing it again i've i've bro i've brought back some of the more uh, tulsi plants and other plants to plant in my garden so the reason I share this story is this also happened with the money plant which was inside and hardly three or four uh, balls of urea I had put in the in the in that and even that dried up. So then I did a little research and then then I understood if additional urea is being used or some urea also for some plants they do not sustain, their roots get damaged and it stops the ability of a plant to grow naturally. But then there are plants which can be grown with urea very fast and rapid and look very healthy. So this is what is happening today. If and a urea a fertilizer thinking we are fertilizer the pesticide or insecticides which are sprayed on the plants they are killing the ability of a plant to grow naturally and if a small amount of urea can kill the plant to a level where it was bushy green and now it's dark brown with only stems left what can that kind of a 
that kind of a fruit uh, coming from such kind of a fertilizer or such kind of a chemicals can damage or can do to our body. So that's why we see so many diseases coming up in the human body system which we never saw in uh, 100 years back. The agriculture is something which has to be done with love. Soil is not a dirt. It is something which grows that makes our body. So we are not less than soil. So and if we are going to create a dirt like this, we are going to be dirty. This is seriously, this, anyways, I don't have uh, such hybrid kind of uh, stuffs. I have a more natural food diet. Uh, lately, I would say uh, from last couple of years. But earlier, yes, I also have enjoyed junk food. and But I know that that enjoyment is very expensive when it comes to health. So... I would say go organic and don't eat things which are grown on the basis of pesticides, chemicals, insecticides. Those are just for profit making solutions, not health making plants or fruits or vegetables so go organic India has a huge culture of agriculture 80% of India is agriculture oriented like if you talk about US they are like 80-90% of service oriented nation we are agriculture oriented nation we are lucky we, we are agriculture oriented nation we don't have to uh, fall uh, dead because of the starvation. Other countries might go through that if they do not understand the importance of agriculture. So, get into it. Go for organic. And just by writing organic doesn't make it organic. Go with the authentic organic products. There are big foundations, certified foundations and uh, Isha Foundation itself is also a very big foundation which has their own plant nursery and then they supply to the farmers. Be careful about this and uh, also plant as many as trees possible. That is the need of the hour to make our soil naturally fertile and uh, to hold the water for a longer period of time. So this is the message which I wanted to convey. And, uh, Please do subscribe the channel if you like it and uh, not hit the bell icon for updates and be in touch, be in posted. I'll keep you updated with the thoughts going on. Thank you.